Let's talk about the liars of America. There's that liar who gets the inkling from God that says you need to help him because he can help you. And then you get involved with other people who totally change your mind about what to do. Or you start to take an in information, which is just partial information, and then you say, ah, I'm not going to help him because he's lying about himself. And the answer is, no, he's not. Or is he? And how would you know? Because you're a total stranger anyway. So are you actually doing investigative reporting? Because investigative reporting, first of all and foremost, allows the person to say yes or no to that investigation or to that journalistic situation, especially if they're not doing anything unlawful. And people who are homeless are rarely doing something unlawful, I cannot say is true. But people like me who have become homeless because of identity theft, cybercrime, and police brutality where they ripped out my ACL, thanks very much, and openly other types of abuses from the force don't like to be called liars. Come stand in my face and tell me that and I'll deck you across the fucking universe. But listen to me. If you want to know who I am, come and talk with me. Tell me about your work. Tell me about your business. And then give me half a chance to not be a jerk and half a chance to advise you on what I hear, what I think could help you move yourself forward. Because you might be the hottest shit on the marketplace, but you've got so many fucking photos out there, I can't tell what you really look like. And maybe you're tired of doing things, but that book cover is a knockout. But after that, I look at some of the other photos and go, who the fuck is taking your photography? But here's the deal. If you want help to move yourself forward, you sometimes have to listen to the voice from the Lord because he's saying, look, you might be this hot shit now, but in the next couple months you're going to lose it all. And nobody's going to want to watch it anymore and you're going to be stuck again living on basically what you've earned so far, but you're not going to be reproducing anything. Everybody who's anyone today has to be producing content. And there's nothing that we hate more than someone who's crass and full of wealth themselves. I've seen some interviews recently with Matt Lauer and a few famous people, and I just could not get over some of the bitterness that I was seeing by these actors and actresses. And I'm sitting there going, motherfucker, you've got a house, you've got a family, you've got kids, you've got everything you could possibly imagine in terms of wealth, I would presume, and yet you're sitting on American stage, you're talking over other actors and actresses, you're not giving them one fucking chance to talk, and I could walk through that video screen and slap you. How dare you do that? You have a team there that you worked with in that movie, not just you. Get the fuck off yourself and focus on the people who haven't been doing as much work.